welcome to another video in this video i will discuss about how you can pass parameter from one custom page to another custom page while working with model driven apps i have created some series of this custom pages in my channel if you go here you can check that right how to open custom page on button click and watch this video so that you can get more uh, clarity on how to call a javascript to open a custom page uh, and how to design this custom page and pass the uh, selected records from model driven apps right you will see here when someone click this uh, button command button how the selected records are passed to this custom page and this is the custom page that i have created in my last video now what i have done this time i want to take another custom page here right this custom page is opening here you see how it is opening i have already recorded the video and you can watch and uh, uh, do that on your own right here also we have taken some uh, fields to update on the same uh, record selected record so that it will update the uh, description field and ownership type field uh, accordingly to the selected records now if the user wants to click the items there so here also i have taken a gallery and this gallery is bound to the selected count accounts records right here it is displaying so my intention is when someone click the link here which is available in this gallery control it should invoke another custom page that i have created here right this is another custom page whose name is different and here i have taken two screens and you know that custom page supports multiple screens to enable that you have to go to settings in your custom page and in the display you have to enable this enable multiple screens flag here i have taken a uh, rich text control and a uh, slider control for employee count data and description data i have taken some uh, icons to do some uh, task right and once the uh, and another screen if you if someone click the edit more button i am navigating to another screen screen two so that user can en enter more data about that account and save it so ultimately my intention is when this this power uh, this uh, custom page will open from model driven app when user clicks this button in each line the selected record the selected record this is the selected record right if you click this button the selected record will pass to that custom page so uh, one custom page can send parameter to another custom page so that the second custom page will take that parameter and process as for need right so let's say i'm clicking this one so if you click this then what will happen it will ask you do you want to proceed if you want to proceed click ok right now once you click ok it will open the next custom page this is the second custom page and in the second custom page i am displaying the account name number and city so uh, this is the account information that are selected in my last uh, custom page and here you see the description and the account information so the first custom page this is the custom page this sent when someone clicked this button it sent data selected account information to this uh, custom page and this custom page receives this data uh, receives this data and display some labels here i have taken you see i'll tell you about that how it is receiving display some account information here in these three labels and also bind some information here the selected accounts information and if you click on submit i'm also updating the same account with this information employee account description field information right again i have taken another screen here user can click this edit more option so that in the custom screen it can go to second screen right how it is done i will tell you so first we will understand when someone click this button in the gallery how it sends data to custom page this is how you have to send data navigate 
gallery to selected that means i am having this button in the gallery items right so whatever gallery that is selected that will be passed in the first parameter of the navigate and in the second parameter the new custom page name name of the new custom page to which it is redirected so by clicking this it sends this selected account gallery selected account information to this custom page so this is how you can send data account information or record information to another con custom page now i'll go to that custom page to understand how it is receiving so how you receive the input parameter that is passed from the uh, custom page you have to go to apps and here in the on start i am having a global variable set target account this is a global variable i have taken here what i am taking to target account equal to this global variable equal to lookup accounts entity where account id equal to parameter id guid that means this uh, so the the first custom page sends id and ent entity two parameters sends here i am capturing the parameter id from the first custom screen custom page to second custom page and available so reading look looking up the account record with the account id passed from the custom from the first custom page and stored in the target account so now this target account is having a account record reference whose id is the parameter id passed from the first parameter now i have the account record right now i can associate this i have associated target account description to this uh, multi rich text box you know rich text box you can be uh, you can add here from this option available rich text editor i have taken a uh, slider here associated the minimum value maximum value right and when i am submitting what i am submitting patch accounts the source data which data which record i want to update target account because i have the target account right object uh, which is the global variable and what data i want to update number of employees which is available in the slider and description which is available in the rich text editor which is a html text because this text box means html text and displaying notify account updated successfully right so when someone click the submit button it updates the description and employee account for that specified account that is passed from the first custom page to second custom page navigate to record when someone click the navigate to record uh, it will navigate to the account form of the target account this is the target account object which holds the uh, account record passed from the custom page first custom page now using this navigate target account then in bracket page accounts dot accounts so this will navigate to the form itself now go here and check if you click on this navigate to record it will navigate to the account form for which you you are updating for because first custom page passed a uh, account record right to the second page so now this is the account which is passed from the first custom page to second custom page now using this option using this option navigate target account an account record and second the uh, account form page so that it will navigate to that specific account record in model driven app now next is plus i have taken a uh, icon here which will create a sample which will open the account create form with some sample data right when someone click this i am having navigate patch default account that means creating a new account form and it will assign some default values for account name and phone for example if you click here plus it will create the it, it will open the create mode of the account entity account record and assign the sample account name and phone number right so that you can save it or provide information and you can save it that is one more thing navigating that means uh, from custom page you can navigate to a create mode form of that specific entity and assign some default values next if you want to just create open the create mode form of the entity you can just use navigate default account but 
with create mode form if you want to assign some default values to different and different uh, fields you can use this one okay next submit we understood how to update navigation to record you understand navigating to the same entity form target entity form and next is edit more you can also navigate one screen to another screen from the same custom page so when you click edit it is navigating to screen 2 and screen 2 is having some i have taken a uh, edit form here and two icons and the edit form is associated to the item target account because i have the account record information with me which is passed from the first custom page and available in the global variable in the set right this is the target account now here i have associated the uh, i have taken an edit form and associated the item as target account and in the data source i have associated accounts so every form edit form or uh, display form or view form whatever you have to first associate the data source which entity it is pointing to then which item it should display and the item to display is target account i have with me and which fields i want to display for update i can edit the field here right i can add new fields i can remove fields here and i have taken a uh, save button and when someone save this it will submit the form data and notify the data is saved you can check here right let's say i want to edit more for this account adventure works i want to edit more so it will open data i can update billing account primary account and click on save so that for the same account the data will be updated and the information shown as data updated i can go back right now so you understand how data is passed record data is passed from one uh, custom page to another custom page and inside that custom page you can navigate multiple screens as for your need and manipulate power fx as per your need and this back button if you use back functionality it will go back to the last screen uh, you have navigated from if you have just opened the custom page from the model driven app if you click on back function it will go back to your model driven app right if you have any back function here and it is triggered initially when you click the command button when you click the back button it will just go to this view so back button navigates to the back screen which from which it is opened now you understand this is a video i have uploaded here uh, video control some icons just for being fancy okay so you understood how to uh, pass data from one custom page to another custom page that was the motto of this video and i have created uh, more videos on this custom page manipulation from this model driven apps uh, go and watch in my channel in i have two channels subchip learn and subchip guru and uh, you can watch both channels videos to learn more let me check once i will update yeah one more thing i have implemented some rich text box so i can provide let's say test and update now this description i have updated test and this text description i want to update edge uh, rich text with some formatting so i can let's say for this account i want to update this description i can go back to the uh, second custom page and here i can define let's say this component is closed Now I can define here the colors and everything because this is a text editor. You can use the text editor option, uh, rich text editor for your uh, convenience. Right now it is bold now. I can also underline this and once you have done this you have to submit. Right. let's say employee account changed and submit now i want to navigate to the record to see and if you go to the details you'll see in the description field i have used the pcf control here to display the uh, rich text control rich text box here and it is displaying here right if you change the color here also it will remain as it is right you can change the color 
now how it is done in the form you can uh, form editing you can add the component here rich text box text editor for this field so that instead of displaying a multi-line text it will display rich text editor so that you can edit properly right so you understand how you can take the uh, simple multiple multi-line text to uh, rich text editor plus create a new custom page and open from a command button and pass and op and pass the data pass the entity record data from one custom page to another custom page and the same the second custom page can navigate to multiple screens as needed uh, by taking the input parameters right and interact with your uh, model driven app data right i hope uh, it will help you in your uh, projects thank you guys for watching this